Yeah, hi, hello everyone. This is good afternoon uh, from Copenhagen. We are at DTW. I have the pleasure of talking to Tim Prince from KPN. He's head of um, autonomous operations and digital transformation. And as we embark on a very, I would say, ambitious and strategic program uh, as Nokia and KPN together, I uh, would love to have this conversation and share some thoughts. Welcome. Thank you very much for having me. So Timmy, here is the question. You know, you are embarking on a very ambitious uh, plan on a maturity model uh, for autonomous network to get to level five uh, with 90% of your uh, services by 2030. What are the biggest challenges you are anticipating along the way and what strategies are in place to address that? Well, we thought we go for a really ambitious goal. Right? So a lot of people are talking about L4, so we thought we'd take the L5 in and go for that by 2030. And uh, for sure, you will run into all kinds of challenges. So we have data kind of challenges were scattered between the whole company, which you need to solve. So you need to think of like more like product uh, data models across the company instead of a data product, which is stitched to a domain. Uh, second to that, I think it's also organization. Uh, because if the organization doesn't have the reimagination of the new world, then we will only be stuck with our technique instead. And that's something that we should prevent from happening. So we take the organization really well on board into the program, make them part of the success. So they will be the leader in their domain for their part of the scope. And the last part is obviously about partnership. That's why we're also sitting here, selecting uh, partners that are able to help us out on this journey. And that needs to have a bit of investment, that needs to have a bit of commitment, but also uh, I would say a model where we just work together I would say towards exactly the same goal instead of our own goals. And I think that we have found a shared goal in reaching this L5 in 2030. We can bring reference, you bring the technology and we make that happen. No, thanks a lot, Tim. In fact, we are very, very um, excited. Uh, and, you know, definitely together with KPN, we have the opportunity to explore, I would say some uncharted territories as we go along and with, uh, you know, different technologies, artificial intelligence in particular, going to play a big role. Data, obviously, as you mentioned, yep. is in the critical path. Uh, security, obviously, also is one of the building blocks. How do you see the partnership and the areas of co-innovation or co-collaboration that you have defined in this mm -hmm. particular program as a critical pillar of success? Well, I think that um, we know what we have, right? And we need to expand, I would say, also our knowledge on certain domains. So that's why we were looking at two kind of partners. Integration partner, which helps us implementing basically the new solutions into our departments. And the second part is the solution partner that will bring the solutions that we need in order to get to the level five. And uh, I think the most critical part for this uh, selection of partnership was this co-creation element as we have even written down in our contract uh, together with uh, the other party as well to exactly work on the target use cases that will bring us to the end state. And I think that is not about uh, a sales pitch uh, licenses, but it's talking to the people uh, within the company who can also help us out in making this actually real. How do you see this uh, as, a, as, as a program which will bring across the bridge over IT and network? Mm. Because it is not just about, although autonomous networks is all about network yeah. and network operations, mm. but I believe IT will play a big role. And in your vision, you have some thoughts around that. Why didn't yeah. you share that? We, in the first place, we call it autonomous operations yes. to start with. And that yes. has the combination of the business, the IT, the process and technology in itself as, yeah. as a combined whole to make this, uh, make this happen. So we have to embed the business somewhere into the game. Okay. We have to start thinking about our processes, but I think we have to look a bit more uh, to IT. For instance, you also have uh, a lot of experience with all the different telcos, right. so there should be a standard somewhere yeah. which we can use as a starting point yeah. instead of drafting from, uh, I would say, like a green screen. Exactly. Uh, so that is something that we are definitely uh, looking for. And Combining this all together, that will only make it happen. Because in the end, it's about making impact for the customers. It's making impact for the business and making impact for the employees who actually build benefit from this new technology. And uh, that can only uh, work if you take it all, uh, take it all in. No, absolutely. In fact, just to summarize, I think um, you know this thought around making impact for the business, making impact for the customers and the employees, exactly. and then bringing it all together and having a big and brave and bold goal is what it is all about. 
a pleasure and looking forward to this partnership and making it a success. Absolutely. Thanks a lot, Liam. Thank, Thank you, you. all.